Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking from the Heart with Julie. Today we're going to be making a delicious tiramisu dessert. It sounds intimidating, but it's actually not. It's very simple to make, and I would say maybe a, a five or a four, if it's a scale of one through 10. So fairly simple, and it has few ingredients. It really doesn't take a lot of ingredients, and most of us have the ingredients needed in our pantry. Okay, so the ingredients we will need are 15 ladyfinger biscuits, three quarters of a cup of sugar, some unsweetened 100% cocoa powder, three quarters of a cup of strongly brewed espresso, seven to eight ounces of mascarpone cheese, three large eggs, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a small pinch of salt, and we're going to need some coffee liqueur of your choice. I'm going to use Kahlua, but you can use Bailey's, you can use Marsala wine as well, and you can use Amaretto, which is very delicious. Don't mind the birds, I have a Quaker parrot in, and they like to, to make noise. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and separate our eggs. We're gonna use both the yolk and the white of the egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. You can do it with your hands. All right, so we're gonna do three. <clears throat> Do it gently, so you make sure you don't get any of the uh, eggshell in the egg whites, because even just a little bit, and we won't be able to whip it up. So you gotta be very careful not to get any of the egg yolks. Okay, three, very good. All righty, so to the eggs we're going to add a quarter cup of sugar. We're going to add a little bit first. And with our hand beater, we move this here. We're going to start very low. And we're going to beat this. Quicker now. Once this is mixed a little bit, you can go ahead and add the rest of your sugar. You're going to want to make sure and scrape the sides of the bowl with your spatula or your spoon to make sure there's no sugar sticking on the sides. We're gonna, going to go ahead and adjust the speed. We're going to raise it. And we're going to beat the eggs and the sugar until we get a pale yellow thick consistency, as I will show you now. So, 
see how light that is now if you want to know if you're done beating it you're going to go ahead and just wet the tip of a finger and run it rub it between your fingers and if you feel too much sugar or you feel the grains of sugar you just continue beating it Once you don't feel the grainy sugar between your fingers, you know that you are done. You're going to go ahead and rinse off your hand blender uh, tips because we're going to need them again. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and incorporate our mascarpone cheese. Here we go. It's a very creamy, thick cheese. Add about one third of it first and beat it starting off low. Okay. You can start raising the speed a little bit. Once that's mixed in, go ahead and add the rest of your mascarpone cheese. beating the rest of that mascarpone cheese with the egg and sugar mixture. Your half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. When everything has been mixed well, tap off any excess and go ahead and rinse off your prongs because you're going to need them for your next step. So we have the egg whites. What I did forget to mention is that we need three quarter cups of heavy cream. So we're gonna beat that. Just so you know, if you want a lighter version, you can actually omit the heavy cream and just use the egg whites, but you're gonna go ahead and want to um, double the egg whites, okay? So heavy cream has to be very cold. Now we're going to go ahead and beat this uh, three quarter cups of heavy cream until stiff peaks form.
you could see. We want it where it's stiff peaks, but not overly beaten. See, if you pick it up, it'll fall right off. If we make it, we overbeat it too much, it'll turn more into a, instead of a whipping cream, more into like a butter almost. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do now, we're getting our egg and sugar mixture. Let me just wipe this down. And we're gonna put the heavy cream, the whipped cream in the fridge. We're going to go ahead and get about one third of the egg whites. And gently fold it in. So you see a folding motion. You would just go over and under. You can scrape off the sides gently. We don't want to agitate it too much because we want to keep the fluffiness and the airiness. So you just keep folding it in. Okay. Once this is Fold it in, you go ahead and add the rest of your egg white. Okay, and just continue folding the egg whites in to the egg and sugar vanilla mixture. Making sure you scrape the sides of the bowl, and then you continue doing that. So you keep folding that in until you see it completely mixed. So there's no white, there's no pale yellow, it's all one pale yellow color. Go ahead and get your whipped cream. gonna go ahead and get about one third and now we're gonna fold that in to our mixture once that one third is mixed in see oh look at that guys this is absolutely coming out phenomenal all right I'm a, I'm a noisy cook, so pardon me. <laughs> Go ahead and incorporate the rest of the whipped cream. Get all that goodness, scrape it all out. The whipped cream and the egg whites have to be pretty cold, very cold, to get the result that we want, guys. Okay, let's put that aside. Wet my fingers. So we're gonna go ahead and fold that. So once everything's mixed properly and folded in, you're gonna get this beautiful, can you see this? Nice thick filling, very light and airy. Almost mousse-like, a little denser. It's delicious. Let me taste with a spoon. I get a little bit here. Oh boy. Oh my God, guys. Delicious. Okay, go ahead, put this in the fridge. We wanna maintain it cold. Okay. So once you put that in the fridge, you're gonna get your coffee, put it inside of a little container, and you're gonna add your three tablespoons or so of um, coffee liqueur of your choice or liqueur of your choice. So let's see, I don't have my measuring spoon, so I'm gonna eyeball this. 
So one, two, three, a half. And one for good measure. And and a little Kahlua for me. Oh my God, delicious. Okay, let me taste this now. Hold on. Let's see. Let's give it a little swirl. Actually, I'm going to put a little more. Oh boy, that coffee came out very strong. So I'm going to add a little more. Just a little. One, two. Let's taste this now. Give me another spoon. Okay, let's see. Whoops. Spoon overboard. Very good. Okay. Now I have a six by eight dish. I'm making for four servings, so I'm using a small dish. I'm not using a very large one, so it's six inches by eight inches. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead, get our lady fingers, and we're going to dip them in the espresso and liqueur mix. Guys, I know the tendency of a lot of people is to over soak the cookies, but don't do that. You're gonna wanna do this very quickly. So you're gonna put them in, one side, one, turn it over, two, and that's it, place it here. Now you're gonna notice that the lady fingers have a curved part, and then they have the flat part. We're gonna go ahead, this is like the sponge part. This has sugar on top, sprinkled sugar. So we're gonna use the flat part that's gonna go down in our dish. So okay, so you see one, two, turn. So once you do one layer, you see if it doesn't fit, you just break a piece of the uh, biscuit off to make it fit. You could put it sideways, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and get our refrigerated filling. Okay, so, all right guys, so you get your refrigerator filling, you get a little spoon here, okay, and we're going to go ahead and put about half of this, let's see, all right, and, oops, Okay, turn my finger off. I'm gonna go ahead and just spread it evenly and gently over our biscuits, our soaked biscuits. Okay, make sure you cover it properly. Don't leave any gaps. And try to do it as evenly as possible. Use a spatula, a spoon, whatever is easier for you. I think I got it. Smooth it out. Oh, this is looking so good. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and repeat that process with the remaining biscuits. Once you go ahead and finish the second layer, okay, you go ahead and wrap this in saran wrap. You see? Oh, look how pretty that looks. So you go ahead, wrap this in saran wrap, and chill it. We're gonna chill this. This size will, uh, I suggest chilling for four to six hours. If you do the larger tray, that would be twice this size, I would say six to eight hours. Um, or oh, I'm sorry, not six to eight hours. Eight hours to overnight. Since it's large, it'll take longer to, to chill. Um, you can also do it in cups. If you have dessert cups, it'll chill much faster. You just need to chill it for an hour or so. So if you want to do dessert cups, just follow the same process. Uh, break the, the ladyfinger cookie or biscuit into two or three pieces, put it in your dessert dish, and just follow the same process, and it'll chill much faster. So if you're in a pinch, you need something quick, 
This is very fast and easy to make and you can just chill it for an hour. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle the top with some cocoa powder. powder. Um, a few pointers that I did want to go ahead and let you know is again, the egg whites and the heavy cream do have to be very cold for, for it to give us the results we want, which is light and airy. Um, also, uh, you can omit the liqueur altogether, guys. So if you don't wanna add the liqueur, feel free to leave it out. And again, you can use any type of coffee liqueur um, or after dinner aperitif uh, that's sweet. For instance, the amaretto is phenomenal with this instead of the Kahlua. You can also use, like I said, Marsala wine. You can use um, uh, Bailey's, so something along those lines. Today I made it with Kahlua. And that's it. Okay guys, so I went ahead, we chilled this. I'm out of the frame there, sorry. So it's been four hours. I'm gonna take the saran wrap off. Nice, and now we're gonna do the last part. Let me adjust the camera. See if you can see. What basically we're going to do is get the cocoa powder. Go ahead and put it in a sieve or a strainer. See, I put a little bit in there. And I'm just gonna tap so I can cover the top of our tiramisu. So you're gonna do this very thoroughly. And we don't want uh, a very thick layer, just enough to cover any white part. So, we don't want any white part to show. So, go ahead. I don't recommend for you guys to do this before uh, when you're going to go ahead and put it to chill. Leave this for last minute when you're about to serve it. Okay? And look at that. Let's cut a piece. Let me get my serving plate. Go ahead and cut it. Like I said, the size of the uh, of the pan that we're using allowed for four nice size servings. It should chill a little more, I think, but let's see. Do this very gently. Get a nice piece out. And hopefully it will not fall apart. And it didn't. Okay, guys. Look at our delicious tiramisu. And of course, let me taste it. So. Mm. Guys, hold on. This is to die for. Mm -mm. Just beautiful. Look at that. Delicious. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my recipe. And I hope you continue to come back to my channel. I will be improving. So, I'm just starting out. Um, so, I have to get the drift of things with recording and editing the videos. 
but hopefully um, the love I have for cooking showed and I hope you try our recipe or my recipe and I hope you enjoy it hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos also feel free to comment I would love to hear your comments and go ahead and hit the little bell once you subscribe so you get notifications anytime I upload a video and give me a like give me a thumbs up I'd appreciate it thank you many blessings